a lot more character to it. This is dated 1991. Uh, Wayne's World, this is my favorite one. Got a hat, just like him. Another heater here, got the Michael Jackson back print. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Official Vintage TV. We're currently in my backyard. We're gonna be shooting a Nike tutorial. We're gonna be showing you some tips and tricks. Um, our commonly most asked question in store is um, stuff about Nike. So this is a beneficial video for you guys, but we're gonna be going through some of my collection, um, some of my favorite Nike pieces I've currently got. But yeah, let's get into it. I'm excited for this episode. All right, firstly, moving into my collection, we're gonna go on to my favorite tee first. This is a Nike ACG with the crazy dog print. Um, this is my favorite t-shirt because the boxy fit and the wide arms. But yeah, I love this one. Moving on to my one of my next favorite tees. So I'm gonna do four of my favorite tees. Um, this has got the embroidered with the maroon color, which is super unusual, but it's embroidered and with the different color tick as well. We got the State Games Oregon screen printed with a nice color on it with these unusual greens or mustardy colors. Um, but yeah, that's nice, super cool. This one's a screen printed tee. So as you can see, it's sort of like screen printed and it's like cracking in the print as well because it's so old. We've got this early 2000s LeBron tee. We've got that red center swoosh in the middle and we've got the red and gold coloring on the spell out. Um, but this is my favorite fitting tee. Super boxy and super big, which I love. Moving on to this one, this is probably one of the rarest tees in my collection. It's a Nike Town Staff. Everyone sort of likes that Nike Town Staff and it's getting really hard to get at the moment. So this is a staff tee which you don't see too often. It's embroidered all the way through. All right, so now we're gonna be going into a little bit of a mini tag guide. Um, so our first tag, which we're gonna be putting in a photo here, it's the Nike pinwheel tag. The data tag for that is 1978 um, to 1982. Um, you don't really see this tag too often. It's more of a sort of co collector's item. Um, you see it mostly on Nike sponsored tees. Um, also, if you see any Nike tag before that time, it's normally printed on a plain tag or a, a, a blue ribbon tag, which if you guys didn't know, Nike used to be blue ribbon. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of history. You don't really see too many of them anymore. But so we'll put a photo there so you guys can know what you're looking for. Moving on to the orange tag. Um, we're going to be putting a photo here because it's another rare tag you don't see. So it's an orange uh, sportswear tag. You should mostly see this on windbreakers. Um, you see it on some t-shirts, but it doesn't really come up too often. Um, it's a nice looking tag, but that's the next tag. So it's late 70s to 1982, 1983. So moving on to the next tag, which is the blue tag. Um, I've got a blue tag here. So you get a sort of an idea. These are just on tracksuit pants, but here's a blue tag. There's a whole bunch of variations, but we're gonna be putting a whole bunch of photos around so you get an idea of other blue tags, but this is just one of them. So the blue tag's probably the, one of the last tags that we sort of can find that we're getting at the moment. So we got a bunch of blue tags in, um, but they're sort of like depleting at the moment, getting less and less. So the next tag we're gonna be moving on to is the Nike gray tag. This is a thin tag, as you can see in the photo. Then moving on to our next tag, which is super similar to, similar to the other one, um, but this one's a lot thicker and it's got um, a lot more embroidery and you can feel it on the fabric if you've got one, but we'll put a photo here for the next one. So these are the most common tags from 94 to 99. Um, there's a whole bunch of variations on this tag, um, so I'll show you a few of them. This is the most sort of common one. This one, one of the most common ones. Um, then you got all these other ones, all different variations. Another white tag right here. Right, moving on to this one. This is another different one. Another white tag. This one's a bit unusual. So it's got the black tag with the red tick. This is dated 97 to 99. Um, and this one is a 2000s tag, which is a good one. Late, late 90s to early 2000s. So that's pretty much the Nike tag guide from 1970s to the early 2000s. Um, if you want us to do a more in-depth Nike tag guide, let us know in the comments. Um, if you want us to know, want us to do another video about Nike in general, let us know. Um, make sure you like, subscribe to our channel.